Hi there. So if you've clicked on this video, then you probably have one of these, a DJI Mic 2. And you probably want to be able to do a firmware update using your phone. And I figured out how to do that. As a matter of fact, this is the only video on YouTube that will show you that. So if you have any friends that are interested, you might want to share that. So I'm going to get right into the meat of it and I'm also going to show you how to transfer the audio files from the 32-bit internal recording of this microphone to your phone as well if you're using CapCut. So this is kind of an important video and I think this one's going to be very, very popular. Stay tuned because you're watching Blue Collar Guy. Okay, we're back. So, how are you going to get that updated file, that pesky update file, from your phone to this? Because everyone shows you how to do it either on a MacBook or a laptop. They say you got to go to the DJI site and you got to go that way. Well, my, I hate my laptop. And if I was traveling or if I was in a mobile situation, like let's say you're someplace where you don't have access to your laptop and you want to update your microphone because you just found out there's a new update. And by the way, this microphone that I'm talking into has the new update, as well as the receiver sitting on top of the Sony ZV-E10. I'm looking into the Sony ZV-E10 and it's just got the kit lens. So if you want to know what that looks like, hey, there we are. So. We're going to get into this right now. I'm going to go to the downward shot. Here's me in the corner. And okay, so I've got a DJI Osmo Pocket 3. And I've got this just as a reference to show you what firmware version we're using right now. So I'm turning this on. I'm going to swipe down. I'm going to go to settings. I'm going to turn on this. I have to first link the microphone to the to the camera because this one was originally uh, linked up to my re other receiver. So what we're going to do first is you see how that's got that blinking. This is a blinking green light, so it might look a little bit bluish on that screen, but it's actually blinking green right now. I'm going to hold down the record button. And I'm going to change it. Now it's now it is blue. See how it just went fl flashing blue? So it was green before. Now it's blue. Now I'm going to hit the link button, make it go fast. Then I'm going to go to here and I'm going to hit that. And now it's going to link this microphone to the DJI Osmo Pocket 3. It is now confirmed. So why did I do that? Because I want to show you what version we're working with right now. So now I'm going to scroll up all the way to the end and it says version 4.03 and that's August 31st. So that's not the newest version. So we're going to up, update this microphone to the newest version. So I'm going to switch off my Osmo Pocket 3. So let's do that. Then I'm going to also power off the uh, microphone, so I gotta power it off because you can't update it while it's powered on. Now, on your phone, and I'm just gonna go to my phone here, get on there. So, under Chrome, so you're gonna go into your Chrome, and I'm just gonna go into my history, and I'm just gonna, so you're gonna go to the DJI Mic 2 downloads. So you just go downloads or firmware update. So you hit that. It will take you to the downloads section. Okay. And then you're going to see right here, the top one is going to say firmware version 4.05. And then that's the one that you want. One is for the receiver. One is for the transmitter. So this is a transmitter. So you're going to hit download. I've already done that. So I don't need to do it again. And then you can even get the guide. So there's the guide. So I'm just going to get a little bit closer. So there's the transmitter and there's the guide. Okay. 
Now I guess I could have done a screencast, but then you wouldn't be able to see all of this. So now I'm going to swipe out of that. I'm going to go into, I'm going to link up, I'm you, oh yeah, before we get into that, so this is called USB Media Explorer, okay? And I'm going to put a share on the um, my description. So if you want to use this software to do this, I would recommend it. I've been using it for years, and it's not a monthly subscription. I only paid once. So if it turned into a monthly description, I'm very sorry. But with me, I only had to pay a one-time fee, and I think it was like four bucks. It wasn't that expensive. So maybe the price has changed. I don't know. But for me, that software was worth it. So right now it just says internal storage. So we'll swipe out of that. Then I'm going to take this cable. So I'll get a good cable, one that can do data transfer. And then I'm going to take that. I'm going to plug the microphone into the bottom of the phone. Okay. And then I'm going, and then it automatically goes into it. Now it says, it says DJI USB drive. Can you see that right there? DJI USB drive. I'm going to get a little bit closer. I'm going to have to zoom in. Let me just see if I can zoom in a little bit more. Okay, that looks a little better. So then what I'm going to do is now that I've downloaded that software, I'm going to go to my, I'm going to go to my internal storage. I'm going to go to file manager. Then I'm going to go to downloads. And if you look over here, I've got um, I've got the software here. Where is that? It should say DJI right here. So this one says DJI Wireless Mic 2, Wireless Mic 2. So TX is transmitter, RX is receiver. So I'm going to hit on the one that says TX. No, I'm not going to open it with that. So I'm going to hit the three little dots. I'm going to say copy. Okay. Then I'm going to click on the DJI USB drive. Okay. Then I'm going to say copy here. It's going to copy the file. It says it's done. That's how fast it takes. And then I'm going to unmount the, I'm going to unmount it because it's using it as a drive. So I'm going to, now I can take this off. See, it's, it's already been blinking. All right. Now I'm going to take that. I'm going to power it on. Okay. Now it's going to go through a little procedure where it's going to probably do a lot. Of, there we go. See that little red there? That means it's updating. And it's going to do a little, few little blinks. And then when it's done updating, it will settle down. And that means it will be fully up to date. So it is updating right now. And it should. There we go. Oh. There we go, it's starting to, it's blinking. Once it stops blinking, then it will, there we go. Okay, so it's calmed down and now it's back to blue, okay? So you have to wait till it does all that and you may have to relink it, okay? So I'm gonna power this off again. I'm gonna power back on the DJI Osmo Pocket 3. I'm going to turn back on the mic. I may have to, um, you're going to have to forgive that noise. My neighbor upstairs is vacuuming. Okay, so we're going to, oh, it did, it connected it. So I don't have to worry about that. I'm going to go to there. And transmitter, see, now look at the version. See, version now is 4.05. I'm going to see if I can't use the other camera. So let me just switch over to the other camera. So can you see that new version there? Uh, let me see if I can get it to focus. Uh, right there. Hang on. Version 4.05. Okay. Oh, hang on. Screen. 4.05 okay sorry about that okay and of course it was
doing the whole gimbal. The gimbal was confused because it didn't know that I'm trying to show you something. So that is how you update your transmitters and you do the same procedure for your receiver, except your receiver will have a screen and it's going to go through the whole thing. Here's my, I don't know why my neighbor is vacuuming at this moment, but it is ruining my video. I'm going to have to use some kind of noise cancellation because we're talking about microphones <laughs> to get rid of that crazy noise. Okay, so anyways, uh, now we're going to talk about the uh, transferring the audio files from the microphone to the uh, a cap cut. So I'm going to go back to the downward shot. Okay, so I've already, it's the same procedure when you're linking it with the thing. You're going to be using the USB Media Explorer. You're going to save the file onto your phone and then you're going to go into CapCut. So after you uh, save the file into your phone, you're going to go into CapCut. And um, let me just see here. Uh, yeah, I'm going to hit my uh, CapCut here. So, there, skip. Okay, so I'm using CapCut Pro, just so you know. So then you're going to go to where it says Audio. You're going to go to Audio. And then you're going to hit sounds where it says sounds. And then you're going to go to your uh, fi this little file folder here. And then you're going to go to device. And then you're going to search for uh, your sound. So you're, and the sound file will be under DJI. Um, it'll be under DJI. So just type in DJI. And there it is popped up right there. DJI. Uh, uh, file. This is a test. Okay. Try to transfer this file over to my phone directly without having to use my computer so that I can have a backup safety 32 bit for recording. Okay. So that is how you do it. And then you would hit the plus button to add it to your file and then sync it up as you normally would sync up any audio file by matching the waveform to match your lip movements and that sort of thing. And of course my neighbor I think has stopped their vacuuming which is good so you know I, I can't get angry with them people have to live their life so anyways uh, but this is how the microphone sounds and that's how it sounds with noise how about that if you got background noise I, I will try to uh, I may try to eliminate that through some noise reduction obviously it could be quite annoying uh, on the video and I, I won't know till I I check out this out later so that's how you do both transfers you would just uh, you know I recommend the USB media Explorer you can transfer your files either from the mic to to your phone or from your phone to the mic to or the receiver you don't have to have a laptop you can do it through chrome and i would highly recommend that now one message i would like to give to dji these microphones are bluetooth which means that not only can they transmit um, sound but they can transmit uh, data so why wouldn't they just do the updating through that ability? Now, I understand that you may have to do the receiver this way because it's not going to be able to communicate directly the same way as the microphones. But the microphones themselves, when they link up to the receiver, could also transfer the file back and forth because they do communicate with one another. So they should be able to do this through the MIMO app is what I'm getting at. Once you do an update through the MIMO app on your phone, why it can't take that information and transmit it down, you know, trickle down through all your devices and update them that way. I don't see why they can't do this, but unfortunately until that is done, we're going to have to go through this. But this is a lot easier than using my laptop and waiting for it to go through all its nonsense. It's updating and drives me crazy. And if you're an older person and you know that you haven't used your laptop for a while and then you go to turn it on, 
it's going to take a long time before it lets you do anything else. And some laptops are older and they'll say, you know, and or if you may have problems with your laptop, maybe it's crashed, maybe it has a virus and it won't let you do anything. Who knows? But our phones tend to be a lot more reliable than our laptops are. Now, if you are a Mac user and you have an iPhone, I'm sure that you will be able to do the same thing with your iPhone, but it will be a little bit different in the way you do the procedure, the file manager, the transfer, that sort of thing. I don't have an iPhone. I'm sorry that I don't have that information available for any iPhone users. However, if you have a friend with an Android phone, he could probably help you update your microphones using this. <laughs> or maybe you'll want to switch. I don't know. Uh, it'd be kind of crazy to switch just over updating your microphones. But I'm, I'm pretty sure you, you should be able to do it with your iPhone too. And that's it for this video. And I think that this video is going to be quite popular. This is um, what the, the new firmware sounds like. Uh, my neighbor has stopped vacuuming, so there's no background noise. Maybe this is a good thing. It gives you kind of a reference of what it picks up when you have annoying noises going in the background. But I am going to, if that is a, really bad, I, I will put a little text message saying that, you know, I had to reduce it. So we'll see. But uh, this isn't a sound treated room. And this is one of the reasons why I use this microphone, because it usually just picks up me and me only. So anyways, you've solved two problems. Not only can you update the firmware using your phone, you can also transfer the 32-bit internal recording using your CapCut and and you can do that. I would rename the audio files too. You have that option and then you'll be able to find them easier when you're searching because I would call them like DJI and then the date in which you're uh, doing your uh, recording along with the subject matter. So if it was outside, I would just call it DJI Mic 2, uh, safety track, or, or uh, you know safety and then outside date uh, or the name of your video that sort of thing y you'll figure that out but uh, I just did that as an example that hey it can be done you don't have to be a slave to a laptop you don't have to bring it I don't like video editing on my laptop I don't like doing that uh, to do it properly is very expensive and I am shocked that this is the only video that tells you how to do that. And I just went over how to switch it from receiver mode to Bluetooth mode, you know, because as I've said in my other video, and by the way, that one got over 3,000 views, that this is a dual function microphone, that it is a Bluetooth microphone, and it is a 2.4 gigahertz microphone. And I believe I was the only one that talked about that. Um, so when you're watching a lot of YouTubers and they have, um, you know, they get free microphones, they get free cameras, they get all that. Those are more of an infomercial because they're sponsored. In other words, they get a script when they get this stuff sent to them for free. And that script comes from the manufacturer and that script will say, you know, hey, this is what we want you to talk about. Here's the features we want you to talk about and that sort of thing. So they tend to stick to the script. But at Blue Collar Guy, we don't have a script. We can go into areas that nobody else talks about. And that is one of the reasons why I've got uh, the subscribers that I do. And I also want to thank all the new subscribers that just joined up because I believe we're well over 5,500 subscribers now. So we're growing because A, people don't want sponsored videos because they want real information. And B, they want uh, people that are not going to have uh, a lot of, well, hey, this is, this is my video, but we're going to segue to a little commercial and talk about this, and then we're going to do this. And by the way, can you give me a super thanks? Can you give me some money on your Patreon? Can you buy me a coffee? Can you do me this? Can you do me that? When you sign up for my channel, all you have to do is watch the videos. 
like, subscribe, and that's it. You know, and if you've already subscribed and you already hit like, well, that's all I that's all I'm asking. I'm not asking you to give me money. I'm not asking you to um, uh, join a special group in that you have to pay a monthly membership fee and then I send you videos that I should have sent you anyway because you were nice enough to subscribe to my channel. So this is what I'm getting at. If you're like me, you just want to watch a video, get the information that you want and, and move on with your life. You don't want to have to go through a whole lot of song and dance trying to, you know, figure it out. So uh, this is the goal of my channel is to just be as real as I can with people. I don't have fancy writers. I don't have fancy production facilities. No producers, nothing like that. So this is why my videos look the way they do. However, I am trying to get as close as I can to being as professional as I can without sacrificing any principles or having to hire staff or, or you know, I, in other words, I'm not interested in being too big for my britches. I just want to get good content out there because when I started watching YouTube, I wanted to learn things and a lot of people out there helped me learn. And believe it or not, some of the best information that I ever got was from the smaller YouTubers that only had like 600 subscribers and maybe, you know, 50 views. And I'm thinking, that's the information I've been looking for. So I would appreciate if this information could be valuable to any of your friends, share it with them. Okay. And that's it. Take care, be safe at work, and I will see you at the next video.